Normal lens during young time is soft and transparent. That is the opacity of the lens when we get older. Just see at this eye model. This is the front part of the eye. This is the cornea. This is the optina behind our eyeball. This is the retina. And this is our lens. The C is transparent and soft. When we get older, the lens becomes white opacity and cause burning of vision. This is what we call it cataract. The symptoms of cataract are light scattering, in which you will see the light from the front object scatter around and you are unable to focus the object at the front. The other symptoms of cataract are reduced contrast sensitivity, unable to see the small objects, monocular typopia, burning of vision, and the late state of cataract, there will be eye blindness. The most common cause of word blindness is cataract. There is a total 20 million people become blind because of cataract. Out of total population, 6.8 million. As the world population grows older, the total number of cataract also increases. The risk factors for cataract are old age, more than 50 years old, diabetes, lifestyle changes like smoking, alcohol, eye diseases like uveitis, and some drugs like steroids, copomazine, amiodarone, steroid. No time tested and poor medical treatment until now to prevent, delay, or reverse the formation of cataract. Some drugs like Arthur's reductase inhibitors, which prevent the formation of glucose from to sorbitol, has shown some promising results in animal studies. Other drugs like sorbitol lowering agent, glutathione raising agent, aspirin, Antioxidant vitamin C and E also show some promising results in the animal studies. The definitive treatment for saline cataract is lens extraction. From the ancient times until now, in about 4,000 years ago, during the ancient period, the British coaching and until now have developed a method of surgery called phacal emulsification. The phacal emulsification surgery offers a smaller incision surgery and faster recovery. The other two types of surgery are extracellular cataract extraction and intracellular cataract extraction. Phacal emulsification is the most common and useful operation. It offers smaller wound incision and thus faster wound recovery and visual rehabilitation. It uses ultrasound energy to remove the cataract lens. However, it needs more sophisticated machine and instrument to perform the phacal surgery. With the current advanced technology, the success rate of the cataract surgery, for example, FACO, is 99% success rate. The other complication of a FACO operation is posterior capsule rupture, endotomitis, which is less than 1%, you will choose a proper surgeon. 
Most catalytic surgery can be done on the day care basis in which the patient was admitted in the morning and discharged in the afternoon. The operation is done under topical anesthesia. Some patients can be admitted for one or two days due to logistic or transportation problem. Glaucoma is an optic neuropathy which characteristic damage to the optic nerve such as vertical cuttage ratio which characteristic visual field defect and is associated with increased eye pressure. Look at this diagram. This is our eyeball. This is the front part of the eye, cornea. This is the lens. This is the posterior part of the eyeball, optic, optic nerve. This is the retina. And inside here is the free vitreous humor and aqueous humor. So in glaucoma, there is increased eye pressure. The increased eye pressure will place on the optic nerve here, causing damage of the nerve fibers, therefore leading to glaucoma. The World Health Organization, WHO, estimated that 100 million people around the world is affected by glaucoma. The blindness prevalence by all glaucoma times was 5 million people. And the blindness prevalence by primary open angle glaucoma was 3 million people. The glaucoma is the second leading cause of blindness following cataract. 47% of the glaucoma will be in Asia and 87% of the ankle glossal glaucoma will be in Asia also. The total number of glaucoma will be increased by 19 million from year 2010 to 2020. Aqueous humor is transparent solution in the anterior chamber of the eye. The function and content is similar to our blood in our body system. Just see the, this diagram. This is the anterior part of the eye, the cornea. This is the lens. This is the posterior part of the eye. This is the ciliary body. And this is the typical mesh word. So the aqueous humor is secreted by the ciliary body and then it flows towards the pupil to the anterior chamber of the eye and drained by the temporal mesh word and subsequently drained into the blood system. The aqueous humor is located in the anterior chamber of the eye which is between the cornea and the lens. The normal eye pressure is 11 to 21 millimeter mercury. The drainage of the aqueous humor in the eye is blocked at the depigal mesh word or the eye anger. So the pressure in the eye is increased more than 21 millimeter mercury, causing damage to the optic nerve fibers. The risk factors for glaucoma are old age, more than 60 years old, diabetes, hypertension, uitis, pseudo exploration syndrome, genetic or family history, and mature cataract. The African American and Latino have increased risk of primary open ankle glaucoma. The Chinese, Eskimo, and Indian population have increased risk of primary ankle glossal glaucoma. The first line of treatment is glaucoma eye drop. The drug will reduce the aqueous production or increase the aqueous outflow at the angle of the eye. The eye drop will effectively reduce the eye pressure less than 20 mmHg 
and thus prevent further damage to the optic nerve. The current glaucoma eye drops are very convenient to use. In laser peripheral iridotomy, we use laser to make a hole in the peripheral iris so that the aqueous humor can flow to the anterior chamber and thus relieve the blockage at the angle of the eye and reduce the intraocular pressure. And this will further prevent the damage of the optic nerve fibers. The indication for operation are when the intraocular pressure is not controlled by eye drop medication or poor compliance in the patient. The operation in glaucoma is me in which we make a hole at the debacular mesh work to improve the aqueous humor outflow, thus the eye pressure will reduce. If the eye pressure is still not controlled after the tracheotomy, the other operation is we implant a drainage device into the eye to drain the aqueous humor. <laughs>